Okay, so we seem to be doing okay. The idea of today's video is we are live streaming and updating our T410 Lenovo laptop. What we're going to do is change out the hard drive. We have a solid state drive, 240 gigabytes, and you can use this video as a bit of a FYI of what you can do with a really old system. So this system is, it's not, it's not too bad actually. There's a few options we can do. These are, well, not that one, but this one is a drive that it contained. It was, how many gigabytes? It says in the corner some better than it. 120 gigabytes. So that was the original drive. It booted up really slowly. So the reason we're upgrading is, well, a, a new SSD goes a long way to make your computer seem more snappy. So we're going to be changing that. We put another drive in here actually. And that other drive, I'm trying, I'm trying to hide the Windows key for some reason, I don't know why. Okay, there we go. So, if I get up the flat screwdriver in here, which would be that one there, we can undo this screw over here. Or should I do a boot up? The other one's SSD as well. Let me do a boot up for you first. Yeah, that probably makes more sense, doesn't it? Showing you what it can do before I... Okay, so... We'll do a little timer. I always forget where it goes in this. Okay, it goes in the back. So, what have we got? Okay. So let me look at the timing here. We are live 5.17. At 5.20, I'll push the button there. So at 5.20, I'll push the button. It's booting up. Five seconds, six seconds, seven seconds, eight seconds, Windows icon, 10 seconds, 31, 32, 14 seconds, 15 seconds, and we're at Windows there. So that would let me log into it. So that's not too bad, actually. Do I need to save anything on this? I don't think I do. We, we did a fresh install on this already. We're going to be putting Windows 10 on there. We might show you that. We might not. Depends if you want to see it. So now I can shut this down again. So that gives you an idea of how quick it booted up. It did boot up quickly because we already had an SSD in there. The drive we've got in here, we are going to be putting on our desktop computer. So we're doing a desktop build for Fortnite or something. Where's Tones? Tones now here. You would have probably known more than me. But, okay, let me unscrew this now. Show you how this works. So there's one screw on the bottom of the thinkpad the last video we did you could see how that was let's just take that out there okay so now we're going to put it sideways maybe a little tab that we can pull out just like that and the hard drive comes out facing up so we already had a kingston 64 gigabyte hard drive in here and that was okay to be honest but it's just we're going to use it on the desktop Okay, so if I show you the screens, it's Sunbow, I think it's called Sunbow. There, that's the one I bought. So you can see it's 240 gigabytes and 1993 is not a bad price at all. So you know what? It's got good reviews. Let's have a look at the ratings. So you can see a lot of people have bought it, they're happy with the benchmarks, the speed tests, and they even show a boot up screen of it. Just waiting for my Windows to start up so I can install Windows. So when you put the hard drive in, you can see I made a DIY tab there. You want to pull the drive out, it's just a bit of tape basically. So on the new drive, we're going to do the same thing. Get a bit of tape and make a tab. Okay, so is it this side? Yes, it's this side. Basically, tape down this is I this is how the pros do it, bro. This is how the pros do it. Okay, so tape that together and do a hash job of it. Do it nicely, do it nicely. There we go. 
So that has become a new tab there, which is a proper cowboy job, but you know what I mean. Okay, so the drive is ready. We're gonna put this in the little slots. And remember, okay, this is something to review actually. Let me zoom you in a bit. If you're doing this upgrade, you'll notice the drive. How can I show you this? Let's show you like this. So see the gap there. The gap there is wider this way round to that way round. So see that's really close. So remember that when you're putting in because there's there is a certain way of putting in depending on how the slots are in the inside of the let me see if I can okay so it needs to go in that away okay, let me show you that okay. that away I'm still zoomed in just make sure it goes in all the way and you give it a little you'll feel it you'll feel it slot in there's a tab that helps you get it back out when you want to get it back out so we can just tuck that in there so that drive is ready to be used what we'll do is screw back the panel this panel is broken as well i need to super glue that back on that there you can tell it's an old machine whack that there whack that there I've got a little screw you can still see everything up no poster sundays Dursley's dad, what's, his, what's Dursley's dad's name? Oh, post on Sundays. Okay, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. I'm keeping you entertained while this goes on. Forty-four, forty-four. Okay, we are basically smashing it up. What is going on here? Okay, let me get this. Okay, I need to also do that Amazon thing then, don't I? Just whack a mouse in there. Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. It's only we smashed up a new Amazon mouse. Look at this bad boy. It's flashing away. Okay, think bad starting up now. Look, it's got multi colors. Let me make that a bit darker so you can see it a bit better. Look at that bad boy mouse. Okay, so we're booting up right now. Fiendus Maximus. Come on. Let's get this show on the road, boys and girls. I think I could have knocked out 15 minutes off this if I put the hard drive in the right way. Or left the, this off so then I could easily turn it. Okay, that should be dry now. Oh, just a moment. Just a moment there, boys and girls. The installation is on its way. So this is going to be the best upgrade of an old computer you have ever seen. The stickers have come off there. I need to do the mouse bit. I need to order the mouse. Okay, the mouse. What do you call them? Trackpads, is it? No, it's the mouse keys, isn't it? Oh, welcome, Cortana. Hi there. No, thank you. Just um, hush, please. I always mute her. 